And we are back in the African Warriors Fighting Championship Arena. As always, I'm your host, Maxwell Kalu, the voice of the African Warriors Fighting Championship. And we have two warriors ready to do battle. We have an African Warriors favorite, Dogon Alta here. Strong, powerful, wrecking machine. You've seen him before. And he's facing off against another favorite, Mola Mola. So two well-known fighters in their prime ready to do battle for your enjoyment today and let's go round one Dogon Alta with that low stance powerful stance you can see his legs that strong base he's just ready to spring up land a big heavy punch Mula Mula is also looking confident looking quite set in his stance both men just observing each other looking for the opening watching each other intently Dogon Alta with that high guard. Both men, oh, and he goes down. What a shot there from Mola Mola. Perfectly placed punch, straight to the side of the head. Sends Dogon Alta reeling down. That is the end of round one. Right in there, a great shot, sends him down. This is African Warriors modern rules. So a knockdown means he's won that first round, but we're going back for another one. Perfectly placed shot, precision, timing. That's how you start a fight. That is how you really stamp yourself in this battle. And with that, we are back for round two. So let's see how Dogon Alta is able to adjust after losing that round. Lost that round from a perfectly placed punch from Mula Mula, who just timed the punch perfectly hit him on the side of the head and he goes for that same punch again and he stands him reeling again mola mola uh, dogan out is able to compose himself but you could see that punch hurt he felt that punch still can't get over that first punch there from mola mola i really enjoyed that and he lands that punch again it's it seems that that punch is just a soft spot for dogan Alta. he staggers every time that punch lands so both men I, I think that punch maybe slightly froze Dogan Alta because I know Dogan Alta for coming forward with heavy punches, for being very confident, very much on the front foot when he's fighting. But you can see he's maybe thinking a lot after taking that punch, after losing that round so quickly. He's maybe inside his own head a bit. Whereas Mola Mola looks quite loose. He's not wasting any energy. Yeah, and he's proven that he has that one punch round winning power. He goes for that same punch, Dogan ducks under it, goes back with his own punches. They clinch up briefly. Referee separates them both. Both men are back in this fight now, just watching each other circling. Just mirroring each other's movements, looking for the opening. Mula Mula just teasing, fainting there. Dogan Alta also just looking stoic. Not much output. Referees urging them both on. Let's see something. Slight battle for hand, hand control now. Both men just pouring at each other, looking for openings, looking for where the shot is going to come from. Dogan Alta needs to be fighting with more urgency considering he's down around already. So both men just fainting. And oh, they sweet. Good shot there lands from Mola Mola, right on the jaw. Lightning fast punches from the man in red. Lightning fast punches. Seems like Mola Mola's game plan is just look for the opening. Dogan Alta to me looks a bit stuck in the mud. I haven't seen much output from him. And as I said, this is not consistent with his usual style. Check his fights out, African Warriors Fighting Championship YouTube. You will see this man is an absolute machine. But sometimes I think, especially after taking a loss, especially after taking a heavy punch, and there's that same punch from Mola Mola lands on the side of the head. That is the end of that second round. So you just see him leap forward, places that punch perfectly, Mola Mola. There you have that punch again. Just as you can see, it just sends Dogan Alta staggering to the side. 
He misses that punch. Dogen out is able to duck under it. They clinch up briefly. Both men. There's that punch again. Lands on the side of the chest, almost just under the armpit. There's that punch again, side of the head. So literally, that was very much the story of that second round. Mula Mula looking for that same punch. Here we go, round three. Dogen Alta really needs to do something now. He's down around. He hasn't shown much output in this entire fight. Not that Mola Mola has shown a huge amount of out. Oh, there's a kick from Dogen Alta ahead. That's what I wanted to see. Kick from Dogen Alta. He follows up with a punch. Mola Mola just comes, lands that punch, knocks off his hat. Mola Mola. He's really done well this fight. He's he's done well to show that you don't need to win. There's that punch again, sends him staggering. What is it about that punch that's landing every single time for him? And every time it lands, there you see it again, it sends Dogan Alta staggering. I don't know what it is. It just seems to hit that soft spot. Dogan Alta doesn't seem to know, have any answers for it, lands again. Put that hand up, block that punch, move your head, do something. So both men just back to mirroring each other. Dogen Alta, I don't think he swung one punch. Okay, no, he swung that kick to punch, which was a moment of the old Dogen Alta. But since then, he hasn't done anything. I really think he's overthinking. And there's that punch again for Mula Mula. Dogen Alta swung at the same time. He's being beat by the beat to the punch. So when he does swing, Dogen Alta, Mula Mula also swings and usually beats him to that punch. This man again. Both just stalking each other, looking for openings. Dogen Alta needs to turn this up, run forward, Hail Mary, go for it, do something. Final round, you're down a round. If he doesn't do anything, he's finishing this fight. Referee's having a great time behind there. And ultimately, if you're Mola Mola, Mola from a tech uh, perspective, Oh, a tactical perspective ultimately you've already won this fight you don't need to ramp up the tempo because you've won the first round so you're ultimately the the winner if nothing else happens so if your opponent Dogen Alta, and there's that punch again if your opponent doesn't want to do much ultimately no one will concern you now so just watching each other there's the punch again he's just whipping that punch in I think Dogen Alta really needs to, after this fight, needs to have a real think, needs to address that fight, in, that punch in training, work on his defense. Just all you need to do is get that punching hand up, move that head offline. It's not a hard punch to miss or to duck, to dodge, to block, but it just seems to be absolute money for Mula Mula in this fight. And that is the end of that round. So here we have that moment of Dogen Alta charging forward. Mola Mola makes him pay for it. Here we have that time where he just knocked off the hat with a nice punch. There's that same punch again, that perfect right hand. There's that punch again. Again, oh, there's a big shot for, for Dogen Alta. Probably one of the best punches he landed. But that fight was very much, I think for Dogen Alta, very disappointing. Not the Dogen Alta I have seen fight multiple times. The Dogen Alta is a wrecking machine. And as planned, <laughs> referee knocks his hand down as planned. Mola Mola takes the victory. Good showing for him there. Dogen Alta, not his best showing. It happens. It happens. You can't win them all. Here we have Mola Mola celebrating, answering the call of the musician. Good fight. Good showing for him. Great technique at play.